Right now, Carrie has a very interesting interview for Diwali on Now. Yes, indeed, Lisa, I do. And I am going to be chatting this morning via Zoom to Sri Ravi Bharati, who's the spiritual head of the Param Daha Dharma Ashrama, and uh, that is located in Pinal. I want to say good morning to you. Namaskar. It's a swagat and welcome. Namaskar. Namaskar. Uh, so early happy Diwali. I know uh, the, well, the five-day celebration starts on Thursday. And, uh, you know, um, I know that there's a lot planned. But I know before anything else, you wanted to open the segment with prayer. Okay, let's all join together in a moment of prayer. Om Siddhi Buddhi Pradirevi Bhukti Mukti Pradayini Mantra Murti Sadadevi Mahalakshmi Namostute Salutations to Mother Lakshmi, the goddess of life, the goddess of wealth, and the goddess of beauty. May we all allow our intelligence to increase in a positive manner. Namaskar. Namaskar. So yesterday we spoke about the five days of Diwali itself, so we won't go into that too much. But um, what is the Param Dharma, Dharma Ashrama doing for um, the day of Diwali itself, especially in light of the COVID measures that we still have in place? Well, we haven't planned out anything because of the COVID scenario. Um, only uh, we haven't opened since nine since uh, the beginning of the, the COVID pandemic. But what we have been doing on the social media, we have been highlighting a lot of programs every week and ever so often. We are doing a lot of things on the social media for uh, the activities of the ashram and the citizens of the country and those who are interested worldwide. We view it also. This is what we have done so far. But for the Pavli Day itself, we have not planned out any program because every individual is very active at home for their preparation for the evening session. Wonderful. So how can devotees remain steadfast, you know, despite the pandemic and despite things being so different? You see, being steadfast is more of a mental scenario. Physical uh, abstinence is one aspect of the tradition, but also mental preparation. Like, for instance, uh, um, you can listen to mantras, you can listen to kirtanam or bhajanam, and allow the mind to be engaged in a constructive manner. This is where both mental and physical abstinence or preparation is required on the part of the Hindu. For instance, when we are doing puja, um, we ask individuals, it's a requirement of individuals, to abstain from certain beverages and certain type of um, delicacies and, and food. But that is only with physical abstinence. But the mind is also preparing itself through the repetition of a mantra. For example, now is the Deepavali season. Um, if we are doing Lakshmi Puja at our homes, so while you are phys physically abstaining from any of the food and drinks, the mind is allowed to engage itself on a mantra, like, for instance, Om Shri Maha Lakshmi Aina Maha. Salutations and prostrations to Mother Lakshmi. So it is a repetition of the mantra 108 times every day. So the individual is preparing physically and mentally for the puja, and not only for the puja alone, for the whole season, you're preparing yourself for that. Now I know for the third day of uh, Dipavali, we know that, uh, that usually, traditionally, that is when people visit the various homes of of um, practicing Hindus and stuff, and you know they gather and get together. What would you advise, and how would you guide, um, you know, devotees during that time? Being that you know we do have certain measures in place, what what would you tell them, and you know that in some way that they can still observe the practices? Well, people will be going out there to visit friends and families for the family, so we are requesting to follow all the protocols of distancing and also wearing your mask and. All the hygiene that is required for it, we are requesting all individuals, be it Hindus, non-Hindus, because non-Hindus will come to the homes of Hindus because they are invited for the session. So we are requesting all individuals to follow all the protocols in place laid down by this, the government of the day. And with the practice of feeding the poor, how will that be undertaken this time around? Well, it may be to a lesser degree or sometimes if we know that, for instance, in a home, like sometimes the home for the age or even the younger children, um, we can normally take the food and leave it in the institution where the institution members themselves 
distributed. So we have least amount of contact with everyone in the institution. Wonderful. And before we go, is there one message you want to leave with devotees this morning? Right. A beautiful message this morning is that understand your purpose, understand the reason why we have taken birth on earth and fulfill that purpose by allowing ourselves to turn with him, not only outside. There's a beautiful song which says, Bahar to ujala hai, magar dil mein andhera. On the outside, it is so beautifully lit and um, brightened with the outer light, but deep within my heart, it is still in darkness. So we are asking ourselves not only to light the outer world, but to light the inner world with everything that is positive and constructive and uplifting in our lives. That is so beautiful. And with that, I want to say thank you so much, Sri Ravi Bharati, for joining us this morning and uh, giving us these blessings as well and this wonderful message. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me to be here this morning again and Shubh Diwali to the entire nation. Shubh Diwali to you as well.